And where's this, uh... It's in the journal? Check not available. What the hell, bro? Oops. Damn, bro, you just hit me. You wildin', bruh. Hey, off world, you're gonna get yourself killed. What's up? Hey, what's the problem? How you're treating your speeder, that's what. I'm not doing anything. My speeder's totally fine. She's screaming, shrieking, gonna rattle and tear herself apart. I can't stand to see such a beautiful bike in need. Here. Oh. Yeah, um, thanks, I, I think. I don't owe you anything, right? You owe your bike a better life than this. Put those parts to good use. You know, I don't like being scolded, but I do like free stuff, so I'd say this evens out. Hmm. I hear that. Ooh, speeder paint job, nice. All right, all right, all right, yeah. Free stuff's always good. Oh damn. Sup fools. All clear. Imperials. Yo. <laughs> I'm just like Can I go in there? Keep your distance. Ooh. Ow. Excuse you, sir? Okay. I guess I'll go around. Damn, bro. My health is. You online in combat? Alright, let's actually go to where I gotta go now. Oh, there you go. Now it's regening. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. Some stuff's about to go down. Lean. Oh. I can just chill. Later. Oh. Let me see some identification. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Your torn Valerio Nup. That's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, move along. Yeah. Ah, yes. So believable. What's up, peeps? How you doing? You enough? Uh, just passing through. Damn, man. You need to calm down, Pike. This goes no. Oh, it is on. Hmm. Nix, need a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really what I wanted to do. Yeah. 
I'm sure I could send him through there, but I guess... Hey, this is for, like, a mission or something later. Doesn't seem to be possible to do anything with it right now. Can I go through there? Hey, what are you doing here? Just passing through. Go on, you can go. Damn, bro. What the hell? You know the rules. No credits, no sabak. And you already know the price of fortune. She just clotheslined his ass. Bruh. That was wild. He's just like, yo, man, I'm just trying to live. If I don't get a big win tonight, oh, I can join a card game? Hang on. I can't save though. Great. Alright. Welcome to Kessel Sabak. Kessel Sabak is a popular game across the galaxy in which participants must keep their chip stack afloat despite the Imperial tax. I have a cheat. Ooh. Rewards 150 credits and a valuable. Buy in. Let's do it. Let me show you money. how it's done. Oh damn. Alright, how does this work? Um Alright, let's see. Castle Sabak rules. In Castle Sabak you invest chips to improve your hand and get a pair. A Sabak hand. To win a round you need to have the best hand at the end of the three turns. The last player with chips in stock wins the game and the content of the credits pot. Hands are made of two cards, one from each family. Sand and blood, which values go from one to six. The card value is depicted by its header and central symbol. There are three cards for each value per family. Minimize your hand value, meaning the difference of your card values. Slovak hands it as a pair and has a hand value of zero. Slovak hands are ranked based on the value of their paired cards. The closer the card's values are to zero, the stronger the Slovak hand is. Really? Okay. So, I guess, okay. So, perfect pair. Slop, Psylop, and Imposter cards. When revealed, the Psylop will take the value of the other card in your hand, forming a pair and a Sabak hand. There is one Psylop per family. When revealed, the Imposter will take the value of one of two dice thrown, completing your hand. There are three Imposters per family. Psylop Sabak or Imposter Sabak are equivalent to a standard Sabak hand of the same value. A pair of Psylops is pure Sabak. Best hand of the game. Let's see. Shift token used. To use before standing or drawing. Kessel Sabak is played with three shift tokens, which are powerful game modifiers. A shift token can be played once in the game and only at the beginning of your turn, before standing or drawing. You can display the active shift tokens by pressing right bumper. You can expand your shift tokens deck by expanding new tokens, by finding new tokens in the world. Winning them at specific ta tables or buying them on the black market. Uh, to draw a card, you must invest one chip. Standing will pass your turn for free, saving chips when your hand is good enough. Damn, do all these things have two? No. You can draw the top of card of any deck on the table, including the discard decks. After drawing a sand or blood card, you, mu you must discard a card from the same family, always keeping one card of each family in hand. Got it. Then each round has last three turns, giving you three opportunities to improve your hand. After each player has played three times, everyone reveals their hands. If every player stands during a turn, everyone reveals their hands. You win the round if you have the best hand at the table. Two or more players can be winners in case of a tie. If no one has a Sabak hand, the player with the lowest hand value, the difference of card values, using the lowest card wins. The round winner takes their invested chips back to their stock. Without a Sabak hand, you are taxed an amount equal to the difference of your card values. Oh, damn. With a losing Sabak hand, you are taxed one chip. All taxed chips are lost. 
During your turn, you can send Nyx to try picking out your opponent's hand. Failing this cheat will increase their suspicion. Um, let's see, if your chip stock is empty by the end of the reveal phase, you are eliminated from the game. You win the game upon being the last player with chips in stock. Failing at cheating increases opponent's suspicion, eventually getting you caught and banned from the table. You will need to wait for things to calm down before coming back to play at the same table. Okay. Let me see, what are the card values here? So the triangles are just addi additives of a number, and then like the trapezoid or rhombus, I, well, whatever, I think it's a, I don't know what that's, what that is, but it's like a five and then one, okay. So right now I have one, which is actually pretty good. In Kessel Sabak, you invest chips to improve your hand and get a pair, a Sabak hand. To win a round, you need to have a pair, a Sabak hand closest to zero. The last player with chips in stock wins the game in the credit pot. Try to improve your hand by drawing or choose standing if you are happy with what you have. <clears throat> Honestly, I am fairly happy with what I have. I stand. <gasps> Draw. Ha! <laughs> yes! What? Okay, he drew red and got rid of a red. He got rid of the same one, look like. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, stand. I draw. Draw. I'm gonna stand. Stand. Pass. Chi on your pa. Draw. Damn, bro. You just wasting all your chips, huh? Hope you get something good. Wait, what do you mean two? I don't have what? Aw, the round winner takes their invested chips back to their stock. Without a Sabak hand, you are taxed an amount equal to the difference of your card values. With a losing losing Sabak hand, you are taxed one chip. All tax chips are lost. So I should minus one then. Damn. Alright, well he's out. And that guy's got four. That's wild. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, alright, it's skipping me, I guess. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's not good. Draw! A thousand percent drawing this time around. Damn, bro. There we go. This one is wild. That's a <laughs> terrible hand, what I have right now. Chip tokens are eff effect cards that can only be played before draw or stand actions. Avoid the draw fee this turn. Retrieve two chips, or other players are taxed one chip. Well, if I do that, I get her out of the game. Got this. What do you mean? Why isn't she? She can't lose a chip because of that. What do you mean, bro? New card. Hang on. Uh, what? I don't know. Uh, okay. Imposter throw dice to set its value during a reveal. Well, I don't want to get rid of this. Well, actually, this one might not be so bad. Cause I'll have one at least. Stand. Why'd I do that? He has what? One chip? I wonder he's probably like draw stand. Oh wait. Now I'm gonna stand. Passing. Pass. Yeah. 
Yo, he has zero chips now. Wait, right? Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. I'm standing. Pass. I got nothing. Kichusa. Imposter. What you got? What's that? Ah, uh, what a lucky bastard. Damn, man. Alright, well, she's out. I got one? What do you mean? Oh, I think I'm gonna lose. And he hasn't used any of his shift tokens, too. What the hell, dude? Oh, this is wild. Nino Leah. Yo, what a lucky punk that he got that. Hey. How you roll the dice and you get some bot, bro? Hey. <sighs> Let's see, you can try to cheat by sending Nyx to spy on an opponent's cards. Hold up to send Nyx. Yo. Oof. Yo, this guy's so lucky, bro. What the hell, dude? That's so crazy to me. All right, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna draw. Wait, can I use? There we go. Ah, oh, hang on. Avoid the draw fee. Bad news, everyone. Okay. And draw. All right. Damn it, dude. Ooh. Oh wait, no, but that's red though. Damn it. And he has Sabak, so I have to, like, I have no choice. What is that? Side up cards match the value of the other card in hand during the reveal phase. Ooh. Alright. So then, maybe I'll win. You now have a Sabak hand, which is a pair of cards, one from each deck. The closer the card values are to zero, the stronger the Sabak hand is. Oh, I did. Oh, that sucks. I forgot. It's also back rules can be found in the rules guide, which can be accessed with the back button or in the data bank outside of Sabat game. Hang on, let me see something. Hands are made of two cards, one from each family. Sand and blood values go from one to six. The card value is depicted by its header and central symbol. There are three cards for each value per family. Minimize your hand value, meaning the difference of your card values. Sabak hands is a pair and has a hand value of zero. Sabak hands are ranked based on the value of their pair of cards. The closer the cards values are to zero, the stronger the Sabak hand is. So I don't really have a strong one right now. He does, though. Um, let me... I can't do anything, actually. Alright, I'm gonna draw then, I guess. I have no choice. Uh, let's grab this one, and then what is the, what the hell? I mean, if I have two Psylops, then what happens? I kind of forgot about that. When revealed, the Psylop will take the value of the other card in your hand, forming a pair in a Sabak hand. There is one Psylop per family. When revealed, the imposter will take the value of one of two dice thrown complete in your hand. There are three imposters per family. Psylop Sabak or Imposter Sabak are equivalent to a standard Sabak hand of the same value. A pair of Psylops is a pure Sabak, the best hand of the game. Ooh, yes! So I'm gonna win, baby. Stand. Hell yeah, so I win. Do sabak chani. Yeah, but I have a pure sabak, bro. Pure sabak. Hand him over. Yeah. Damn it, man. That sucks. Okay. All right. I guess let's draw then. Something good. Wait. Is there even there's not enough in the pot, right? 
Nope. Come on. Uh, let's see. Three. Ah, oh, that sucks. I mean, that would be good. Screw it. I'm gonna do it. It's a sabak hand, so. Shift? What? Oh. This thing again? Oh no, he just got rid of it, okay. Alright. Alright, let's see if I can do this again. Alright, alright. I can work with that. I can work with that. All right, I stand. Let's go. Yeah, stand. Okay. Stand. That's a buck. Looks like it's my lucky day. Ooh. All right, I won. Hell yeah! Let's freaking go, baby! That's it, he's out, right? Yeah! Oh, don't feel bad. I'm really good at this. <laughs> first time, first win. The first of many. The ga galaxy is full of Kessel Sabak challenges. Search for shift tokens and find new cheats by exploring the world. Refine your strategy and play solid during your journey. I've never seen it myself, but it seems like it must happen all the time. Hell yeah, bro. Let's see, what is this? It's Age Spachka. Battles of Spachka age for several years to refine flavors and fragrances. Nice. So that's like basically 310 Fresh credits. Meat at our tables. That was Everyone awesome. Here just uses the same tricks over Let's and see. over. Uh, this will just give me 150. Nope, I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for playing. Appreciate it.